I really do feel like Trump has won the argument at this point. You know, there's no way Kamala Harris goes on Joe Rogan. They, they, they've they lost control of the narrative. They're not pulling back from this. There's no interview she can do. There's nothing that will allow her to recover from this. She kept saying in this interview, my economic plan is going to do this. And I was like, Brett, please ask her what's her plan. I know. Mm-hmm. What the fact it? that he did. But th- this is what I'm saying. He was not going after her like a pit bull. These were no. really basic yeah. questions. These were really easy questions, and there were things he did let her get away with. I wish she, she, I wish she would have gone her. after her, particularly about that line she kept using about Trump promising to use the military on American citizens, mm-hmm. which is a complete fabrication. It's total nonsense. Total nonsense. Just like what, Trump she... grabbing the wheel of the Secret Service's uh, <laughs> SUV on January so, 6th. So, Do you remember that? Yeah. That they oh, were right. claiming that? That, that was, uh, what was that, Cassidy Hutchinson? <laughs> yeah, they even, they even did a comic strip. No, they, like said... they did illustrations of it. <laughs> they said said that Donald Trump grabbed the steering wheel of the vehicle he was in. The only problem is he was in the beast yeah. and it has a barrier between the driver and him for security <laughs> reasons. And so I'm like, did, did Donald Trump phase through solid matter to do this? What, what is the world they live in? But Kamala Harris gets, I, I, I suppose it's, it's just simple to say, if they don't have lies, they have nothing else. It's a, exactly. And that's why they come up with these stories. When she said in the interview that Donald Trump said he would arrest those who disagree with him over and over again. Do you want to know the origin of this? Donald Trump said, OK, let's start from the beginning. Kamala Harris goes on CBS. CBS puts up a clip of the of the uh, interview. Instantly, we start seeing the betting odds shift in favor of Donald Trump. Massive waves of criticism saying, wow, she looks stupid. CBS airs a different version of the answer. People noticed that CBS went in later and edited the clip. For some reason, her answer was different. Trump says, along with many other commentators, that this was collusion between the news organization and Kamala Harris. Yes. Trump then says that should be illegal for the for a presidential candidate to collude with the media so that they give her preferential treatment and try and make her look better should be a crime. She should be disqualified. She should be in jail. Then Bill Maher goes. Did you hear this, that Donald Trump said she should be in jail for going on CBS? Then Kamala Harris goes, he's saying he wants to arrest people who disagree with him. Oof. The origin is, and you don't have to, look, by all means, t- say Trump is wrong to say that. You're allowed to. I'm not saying he's right. He said a corporate news outlet colluding with a candidate for favorable coverage should be criminal. Mm-hmm. Okay, maybe you think it's, he's not right. Okay, that's fine tell me that but when they when they play this game of purple monkey dishwasher yep. where they just say garbled it, th- okay i have said this before i'll say it again the left is an ant death spiral mm. you, ever, you ever see those yep ants follow pheromones of other ants and if and that's how they know where the food is but if an ant loops around in a circle the other ants start looping in a circle and they all walk around in one circle until they die of starvation because they're only following the scent. They don't know where they're going. This is what liberals are doing. Kamala Harris now says to Brett Bayer, Trump says that he's going to use the military and the American people and arrest those who disagree with him. Now some 60-year-old woman who watched this or who watches MSNBC is going, calling her friends and be like, Trump's going to arrest people for disagreeing with them? And, and, and this is where the purple monkey dishwasher takes off. Who was it that alleged? Oh, my gosh. There was some official who was saying that Trump could use special forces against his enemies. Which I, the, the most hilarious part of that is the idea that any of Trump's political opponents would necessitate the use of SEAL Team Six. <laughs> we got we got to get Adam Schiff and Rosie O'Donnell better bust out the special forces. But it's all complete and total nonsense. They have literally gone after him with transparent political prosecutions. They have redefined laws, the severity of the punishment for those laws once they're broken, and the statute of limitations just to go after him in New York. Everyone knows this everyone sees what they're doing and they're going to turn around and say trump wants to use the military on american citizens it's nonsense if donald trump wanted to do that right if donald trump was going to use the military against his political opponents if that was ever something he was interested in doing you would think when he supposedly attempted a coup and he was the commander-in-chief of the united states military at the time that he was supposedly attempting this coup he would have done it then but no instead even though he had that power he tried to quote unquote overthrow the u.s government by dog whistling to a crowd of unarmed boomers to walk into the capitol and chant okay I, I, here's what i think in this country we have two factions principal factions adults and children yeah. And I think it's a fair way to put it. Uh, now, unfortunately for Democrat voters, they have a tendency to be the children in this equation. Not all of them, but m- most of them. The Republicans have a tendency to, tendency to be the adults in the room, but some of them are quite children. And I mean that uh, uh, children, I, I don't mean that literally. I mean they're immature and, and, and they lack understanding. They're naive. And so what I mean by this is 
On the Republican side, you have former Democrats, many of them, nine million Democrats switched from the Democratic Party to vote for Trump in 2016. And we've seen that trend actually continue quite a bit. RFK Jr. shaking Donald Trump's hand is a huge sign. The Cheneys joining up with Kamala Harris is I don't know what that is. That's weird. But sure. So what I see now, and I'm going to shout out Piers Morgan, because you may have seen I, I did that interview. I don't know if you guys saw it. Or the uncensored show. And I'm getting, you know, a lot of people are hitting me up being like, sir, how did you manage this? Because I'll give you one example. This show starts off with Piers Morgan saying Trump is, is, is doing badly with women. Kamala is doing badly with men. And I said, I think, you know, I, I, I gave a little bit of a statement ending with, I think many women will hold their nose to vote for Donald Trump. But I do think there's a lot of men who are just sexist, do not want to vote for women no matter what. And I don't know how Kamala overcomes that. All of a sudden, this woman is just screaming my name yelling at me, accusing me of being a COVID denier who (laughs) then got COVID and took ivermectin, which none of which uh, aligns in reality. I never denied COVID. I always said, talk to your doctor. I I never was anti-vax. I was never pro ivermectin. Anybody could watch any of my videos. That was always the case. But they, they live in this reality where they get their information from snippets out of context, or they heard it from a friend. This is why I say they're children. The adults in the room say, let me look into that. Let me check. So when and this is this is a tendency, not absolute. There are certainly right wingers who are children and just believe whatever they hear. I can't tell you how many people told me that they thought that the government was making hurricanes. And I'm like, okay, guys, let's 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 calm down a little bit. But for the Democrats, their high level commentators say things that they heard from a friend as fact. And on the right, the high level commentators pull up the DOJ and they pull up the New York Times and use these as references. I've always made an important point on this show and morning show to pull up the article I am reading from. And I tell you this still, when I read an article from the Star Tribune that said Ilhan Omar, and this is a quote, not from me, may have married her brother. I said, wow, I can't believe the Star Tribune has reported that. Media Matters then ran an article saying Tim Pool claims or Tim Pool says or something, Ilan Omar married her brother, which I never did. But they don't. The people who fall for Media Matters tricks, the people who fall for this manipulation aren't smart enough to do the actual research. They sit in their lounge chairs watching CNN going, whoa, while the rest of us are trying to figure out what's really going on. The problem, they vote too. Yeah. Thanks for checking out this clip from Timcast IRL. Make sure to watch the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Subscribe to this channel and we will see you all there.